everyone, it's Riley here. So I wanna do a little phalloplasty and electrolysis update for you all. But before I start this video, I kinda of just wanna say I'm sorry. I did already post this video, but I took it down because, you know, I kinda of brought to my attention that even though, you know, with my frustrations on the wait times for a couple different things that this is a process and I need to understand that. I need to be able to just accept the journey, appreciate the journey, and regardless of how long things may seem to be taking, uh, I have to understand that Montreal is doing their best, you know, with the best that they can. Also, you know, that my arm has to look a certain way or be a certain way before they can book me in for surgery. And then as well with my electrolysis clinic that I have to understand that they're also super busy so they can only get me into so many appointments. So I need to not be, you know, so emotional, I guess, with this process. I just know I'm frustrated with how how long it's been taking but that I still will get there at the end of the day so again like if you saw that video um, and I upset you in any way like I do apologize on that sincerely and anyways you know just moving forward I just you know want to be able to you know be a little bit more understanding with myself and understanding with the journey so anyways hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned All right, so with this video, um, basically I'll just give you some, uh, guys a small update. I just had session 43 recently. I got into a cancellation appointment, which I'm really happy about. Um, my next appointment is not till August 2nd. Hopefully maybe I can get into a couple more uh, cancellations, but if not, um, I'll have to wait and see what Montreal says anyways. I sent them a picture update on my arm. Um, so we'll have, basically just see what they have to say about that and see you know if they think I still need more sessions or not um, until that point though we've already got some sessions booked in for September I think we've already got three which is awesome and then we'll have to look into October um, I, honestly again like I have no surgery date I'm not sure when that's gonna be and you know as I said in the beginning of this video I just have to understand the process and be more understanding that things may take longer than I expected also, also with COVID like that definitely put me back um, and then you know with how busy things are being like it's just you know I have to be more understanding so currently though still no date um, just basically continuing working with my electrolysis like it looks really good I still have um, a small patch like at the bottom of my elbow but like basically I think uh, this side honestly doesn't really matter but I expect my like scar somewhere to stop around here so really there isn't too much um, of this the way anyways on the bottom side though it looks really good like you almost can't really see um, I can see like a couple small hairs more so on this side like on the side but not really on the bottom and what is there is very light very fine and very thin so it's just hard to see on the camera but everything is looking absolutely amazing I am really happy with the process you know even regardless of how long it is taking um, you know I'm just you know one step closer one one you know session you know it, that happens um, is one step closer to you know getting to the surgery date so Basically though, um, I'm just continuing with it. Yeah, again, like no surgery date, just, you know, continuous sessions, waiting on Montreal's reply. And that's about it. Like honestly, at this point, it's just a waiting game, seeing, you know, how things go. But figured I'd give you guys an update also too. Like I am in my new place, as you can tell. So I'm super happy about that. I'm really, really excited about this space. I love the like location. So honestly, really looking forward to be able to, you know, make this my home and hopefully just live here for the next couple of years and be able to yeah, make it mine. Um, on top of this though video, I do want to end it with, I will be making another video regarding phalloplasty. I want to make a video basically about the products that I bought, whether I know the price or not, I do apologize. I, I kind of know or remember where I got them, but I don't know if I'll remember the prices of everything. Um, I'll try maybe like get an average price on them, but I will, you know, I do want to make a video regarding the uh, surgery stuff that I've picked up that I've already, you know, bought and be able to share that with you guys because then if anybody is looking into phalloplasty and looking into supplies that they may need I'd be able to give you a little bit of a guidance on what to expect to buy um, and the cost so keep your eyes open for that if you do have any questions regarding my journey always feel free to reach out whether it's on here or Instagram which I will put the link in my bio down below I share a lot more on there in picture wise and I usually do up-to-date pictures whereas here my videos are kind of sporadic and not really you know consistent and I do apologize on that I just don't feel like I have a whole lot to talk about as of currently once I get I think closer to surgery date and start going through surgery I think I'll have a lot more to do videos on so stay tuned I guess for those but in the meantime um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you you know stay tuned for the next one anyways love you guys bye for now